Hello everybody, my name is Lucas and welcome to the one year world tour of my lifetime survival single player world, Rowan Daria. Now, I want to apologize really quickly for this being out almost a month late. Um, I had some unforeseen circumstances and a big brain fart where I left the C clamp to my mic stand down at my aunt's house. Um, and we went, we visited there over Easter. So I haven't, if you looked, I haven't actually played Minecraft for over 10 days. I'm recording this on the 17th of April. And I haven't played since uh, the 7th. And that was while I was down there. Didn't really have the itch to play Minecraft for some reason. Just wanted to take like a, a little break from it. But now that I have my mic stand back, we are here in the world recording that one year world tour. And we're here starting at our base. Because that's where we're going to be um, s starting the world tour. And of course, I've been playing Lunar Client. Uh, some bed wars, and so all the controls are messed up when you switch back to the original version. But this is this is the base, and the first thing I notice is I have been working here a lot, and uh, brand new thing over here is we have a new building, the Hall of Remembrance. So as I talked about in the last world tour, we're digging a giant hole, hand dug with uh, with pickaxes. And these pickaxes are all the ones that have valiantly died in my world. So these first two um, actually didn't sacrifice themselves to the hole. I lost one by falling in the void, and the other one I blew myself up. But all the ones that say death by shatter are, um, are in there. And so we've obviously broken a lot of pickaxes, and there's still some that I need to put up here, and thank you, Minecraft, for telling me how to craft wooden planks. Pretty sure I know how to do that. Thank you. <laughs> but I kind of wanted to go for an open concept building with this, so the roof's, you know, open, some sandstone walls and stuff. And overall, I, I think it looks, I think it looks pretty good. But also, on the way to our Hall of Remembrance, you notice that we have worked on a path. A path that, you know, is, it's all lit up, and uh, I, this is where I started the path. I used way too many blocks, and then I kind of figured out to just keep it nice and simple, right? Right through here, we've got our path, and if it's nighttime, um, there's leaves under, or there's shroom lights under here that light up the pathway, and fences that kind of tell you where to go. And that's what I wanted to do <clears throat> for this one-year world tour, was really tidy up my base. <clears throat> And I have another path that's uh, over this way. It's over to my project board. So, oh, taking a whole bunch of fall damage. So we started over here. All right, this is another path. And it uh, we come over here and it links up with our little project board. And uh, if you notice, one of the projects is tidy up island base. And that's where this whole, this whole path thing came from. Obviously, I'm nowhere near being done with all the paths, but that's, um, that's where we're at. And I'm sure in the next world tour, we will, we will keep it going. Now, if you remember way back when, I think it was two world tours ago, we built this island river, but I never actually finished this section over here. Well, we have finally done it. Water is now all the way through and our base is now officially an island. I came in here with buckets of water and some ice blocks and just filled it all out over here. And there you go. So that's good. Also, coming along with the whole tidying up the base thing, I cho chopped down a whole bunch of trees that were over here. I, uh, there were just some miscellaneous trees left around from, you know, just the base and I wanted to clean it up. So we chopped down all the trees. So it's just big open concept. You can see where there's no grass. That's kind of where I flatten the area out for the sugarcane farm. But I wanted the whole area to be tree free, so I can build and terraform whenever I need, whenever I need be. Now I also added some things to the river, like I tidied up um, the old river that ran through here. So I 
Uh, I needed the island river to go around the cactus farm because I mistakenly built the cactus farm over an existing river. If I come in and show you this really quick. Um, like if I dig down right here. Yeah. So you'll notice there's, there's actually still a river under here. And there's all the cactus. And so I just kind of, when I built the cactus farm, I built over it and forgot about it. But I tidied it up. So I flattened this area out. I filled in all the river, all the uh, the holes of the old river, and over here I built a little built a little nice feature. I gave the cactus farm a, a little staircase up to it instead of it just being floating. And I thought I did a really good job with this. I added a little bit of a pond and some sort of grass feature. Not really sure what it is, but I kind of brought the. Um, you know, brought it around and really made this look like instead of being a hole where a river should be, that this is, it's meant to be here from the start. And I think I did pretty, pretty good job with this. And I also did the same, the same thing with this over here. There was a hill. I buffed it out a little bit and uh, grew some dark oak tree as an oak tree. Put some bone meal around here to add some flowers. And over here I did a lot. <clears throat> I'm gonna go ahead and sleep. And also, I realized that because I'm I played on Lunar Kyan last, it's giving me like permanent night vision. So this is actually great for the world tour. I'll uh, have to do that for all the other ones. Play on Lunar Client before I film. But so you can see, instead of flattening it out here, you can kind of tell that a river came through here, right? How it's it's in there's a divot in the earth. So I I kind of filled it in, put a little pond in. Made this bridge, like, sideways. I don't really know. And then over here, this is... I did this one first before I did the one on the other side. I built a little... A cozy little thing and put a tree with a beehive on it. <laughs> and then a little pond, little island. Reminiscent of our island river. Little pond, and it's got a tree with a bee farm. And occasionally bees will pop out of there. I hope. Didn't really mess with this much, but I did... I did cover up the old, the old island river, or the old river that went underneath my cactus farm, and I think it looks a lot better. A lot better. <clears throat> now, I'm flooring the wrong way. Sorry, I'm looking off of notes, because <laughs> it's hard to remember everything I've done over the past three months. I added more modules to the villager farm. So, I, uh, I know we haven't been down here in a while, and I, like, the only time I've been down here is just to show it off. But I built... I built more modules, extending them all the way out to their furthest point. So there's one, two, three... Four is right there, and then five is all the way down there. Move some of the villagers in, actually. We can go check and say hi to them. See, I've added a silk touch. One, a mending, and depth strider three. Efficiency five, impaling five, and infinity. That's a really good villager. And then I'm breaking free projectile protection to neck back one. I'm eventually going to label them all with dark oak signs and make them white to try and match the background. So that's the plan with that. And then I also sort of uh, uh, built this one over here for the sake of feeling out the, sim the symmetricality of the area down here. So I can get an idea of how I'm going to decorate decorate everything. And this permanent night vision is really nice. And, you know, get a, get a sense of of scale and what I'm going to have to do when I eventually build the other four, uh, two modules on each side and complete this area. It's I know it's coming along extremely slow, but we haven't done a lot with villagers. And you'll notice that the castle, we're not actually going to go to the standing place, but look, there's a border around it. I know. I've actually done some work on the evil castle and built the border, which will eventually be like the inside area. So we have the wall, it's more of a perimeter wall, and then we're gonna have the castle walls which extend high above the perimeter wall. And you know, that's gonna be filled with your nether bricks, and uh, I'm actually holding up for dripstone in 1.17. So I'm really excited to build with dripstone and see how it mixes in with blackstone and nether brick and 
you know, maybe s some other black blocks. And I found that I really like building in that nether style with the reds and the blacks and the grays and the whites and mixing them all together. And I think that's honestly my favorite build palette. And so, you know, it is an evil castle. It's right up my territory. And I didn't ignore it for three straight months. It's got a perimeter now. <laughs> and then, of course, what y'all have been waiting for, the big creeper farm dig. I spent about two and a half straight months just digging, and it caused me to probably burn out a lot uh, from the game. And also, don't mind my inventory. This is from me building all the paths. So, uh, that's where that came from. But I think in the last world tour, we were on like layer five or six. We're now on layers 20 and 21 over at the Creeper Farm. So, let's grab our boat. And see, see, look how the, the night vision affects it here. It's all, the nether's all loaded. And I'm pretty sure to get rid of it, you have to, like, load, load in a resource pack or something. Yeah, if I just, like, throw on a, a quick resource pack really quick. I want to get rid of it so you guys can see the difference. And as always, I'm going to keep these world tours uncut. And then if I reload... The resource pack. I don't know why. I just feel like it's it's kind of interesting to cut out to cut a world tour, because it is you know your guys' world afterwards. Where do I go to fix it? Is it brightness? That looks cool. And then if I bring it back up, does that fix it? Yeah, there we go. Now we get the more natural light. Leave me alone, piglin. That fixed it, so we get the natural light. But cutting up a world tour, I can see if, you know, you can't talk the whole time or whatever. But I really want to take the time to, you know, just address you and talk to the world and give you a chance to see all the parts of the world. Because if I cut anything out, you will be missing the world. And where's the fun in that? <laughs> but look at how, how much we've dug here. In that time, we have actually passed. We, we passed the 1 million stone mark, 300,000 grass, 200,000 sand, 100,000 dirt. It's been crazy. And sorry for the, the ticking. And so we were originally, like, right here, like, basically five blocks below the witch hut. And now we're all the way down here. And I've taken a break from this, like I've said, to work on the base. So I haven't dug in probably a good three to four weeks. You know, counting in the fact that I'm recording this almost three weeks later than I should. But it is it is crazy how much, uh, how much progress we've done on this. And this is why this world tour is going to be so short. I'm looking over at my recording now. It's We're barely going to be at 15 minutes by the time I end. It's because this is two and a half months of work. I don't know what else to tour, right? It's not like I built more built more of my base up and did some more intricate intricate um, redstone wiring that needs to be shown off. Or I did, I built, you know, three different bases and houses and things that I need to show off. No, it's, this is literally what we've done for two and a half months. That's why I did want to tidy up my base and work on some other things to give more meat of the world tour than just, hey... I dug for three months. Yay! Here's the world tour. <laughs> the one, the one year world tour is the most um, meh part about this, you know. But, but with it being the one year world tour, I am going to release the one year world backup in the description of this video. So if you would like to play on a backup of this world scroll down there there will be a google drive link and what you're going to do is you're going to download the google drive link and then copy all the files and paste it over one of your already existing worlds that you would like to become this world so if you i suggest you like load up a new world right load it in whatever take a look around you know if you like it right down the seed and then download the google drive files copy it all 
just go into your Minecraft saves folder and just paste it right over. And when it asks you, would you like to replace everything? Click replace everything. And so that's what puts my files on top of yours. And then you'll log in with the full inventory and you can check out all the statistics. It's just like you've been playing in this world alongside me. I figured I'd release it to the uh, to the public as a sort of um, a sort of tribute to all of you guys who stuck around and wanted to take a look at at the world that is that is Rowandaria. It's mainly consisted of a hole, but you can check out all the secrets and build yourself your own dirt house on Dirt House Island and blow up. And finish the hole for me and blow up all my builds. And <laughs> if you also, if you want to post pictures of said destruction and blown up carnage in the world, there will also be a link to my Discord down in the description. You can join in, hop in. There's a Minecraft channel. And if you want to, um, if you want to check that out, feel free to post all the pictures of carnage and, and even your worlds in there. But sorry for it being so, so unexciting. <laughs> I know, it's just, it's, we dug a lot, we dug a lot, and sorry there isn't more content other than we dug a lot, but it takes time to swing pickaxes, it takes time, but anyways, thank you guys so much for one year of Rowan Daria, and uh, we'll see you in three more months with the next world tour, thanks for watching.